Mr. Netanyahu, welcome back to uh, Downing Street. Very pleased to see you, to have the opportunity to talk with you about, I'm sure we're going to have a range of issues we want to talk about, with the very good relations that the United Kingdom has with Israel uh, in, across a number of areas. Uh, but I hope we will also be able to spend some time talking about the issue of regional security and stability. The stability of the Middle East is important, of course, to Israel, but to the rest of us as, as well. Um, and I think that will include some discussion about Iran uh, and about the uh, JCPOA nuclear deal. Of course, as you will know, along with France and Germany, the UK continues to believe that is the best route to preventing Iran from getting a, a nuclear weapon. Uh, as long, and we will remain committed to it as long as Iran meets its obligations. Um, but we do uh, recognise that there are other issues that need to be addressed in relation to Iran. It's destabilising regional activity in countries like Syria and Yemen, uh, and also proliferation of ballistic missiles. It might be interesting to talk about how we can work together in addressing those, uh, those issues. I also hope we will be able to talk about the situation in Gaza. Um, we have been concerned uh, about the loss of Palestinian lives. Uh, we, as you know, the UK absolutely uh, recognises the right that Israel has for self-defence against the activities of extremists and terrorists. But with 100 Palestinian lives lost and a deteriorating situation in Gaza, I hope we can talk about how we can alleviate that situation, how can we can ensure that we can get back to a position where we're able to um, find a way through to talk about a two-state solution. So many issues for us to talk about Indeed. together, but Indeed. very much welcome you here to Downing Thank Street. You. Thank you. Uh, Prime Minister Mayor, it's always a, a delight to uh, uh, visit with you and speak with you about uh, issues of common concern. I have to say that our relationship in this year, the 70th year of Israel's uh, birth, is excellent. We cooperate uh, in great ways in intelligence, in security, uh, in technology, in trade, in many, many other areas. And I think our relationship is going from strength to strength. Uh, today I wish to uh, focus uh, on two issues, two goals that, are, that we share. The first is uh, how to make sure that Iran does not have nuclear weapons. And the second is how to roll back Iran's aggression in the region, and specifically in Syria. And uh, I think we can find uh, ways to work together to achieve both goals. As far as Gaza is concerned, uh, I think the problems there are rooted in the, the uh, fundamental goal of Hamas to destroy Israel. Uh, we're not witnessing peaceful protests. Uh, in addition to burning our fields, these people are uh, being paid for and pushed by Hamas to try to break into Israel's defenses, kill as many Israelis as they can, right next to the border, and kidnap our soldiers. Uh, this is not. Uh, a nonviolent protest, quite the contrary. Uh, we are doing everything we can to both minimize casualties and at the same time protect Israeli lives. Uh, I think you recognize this. It's a new technique, it's a tactic of terrorists to uh, attack civilian targets and hide behind civilians, or in this case, use civilians as human shields. Uh, I think we should condemn it and uh, discuss ways how we can prevent this. It's also true that uh, the reason Gaza is in an economic and humanitarian crisis is because, one, Hamas diverts an enormous amount of uh, resources.
from civilian needs to uh, terror tunnels and other weapons of war. And secondly, is that the other part of Palestinian society, the Palestinian Authority, has cut back the money, a combination of choking Gaza financially from one Palestinian side and diverting resources for terror. On the other side, has created a, uh, an economic crisis. Uh, I'd like to talk to you about that as well. Uh, and I know that when I do so, I'm talking to uh, uh, another democracy that is often challenged and often has to face these kinds of terrorist uh, provocations. Uh, we understand that you uh, live up to those challenges as we do, and I think we can do it together. Thank you. Thank you.